This is an acoustic guitar. It has two basic parts, a neck and a body. Let's look at them in a little bit closer detail. At the very top of the neck we have the headstock. The headstock has the tuning pegs or machine heads with tuners that keep the tension of the strings in tune. After the strings leave the headstock, they are on an angle you see here so there's no need for string trees. Then they encounter the zero fret or the nut. After they cross the zero fret or the nut, then they reach the fretboard proper where the metal strips of frets are. After the fretboard goes all the way down meets the body. Now the body of an acoustic guitar is essentially a hollow resonance chamber. There's usually some kind of sound hole instead of pickups so that the sound of the strings can go in here and out. After the strings come down to the bridge, they're usually either tied off, as in the case of this classical guitar, or the little knobs on the end of the strings go through some kind of hole and they're held in place there. Now, some acoustic guitars have pickups and electronics on board that you can plug in to an amplifier, but even those have essentially the same characteristics as any acoustic guitar. They rely on the soundboard, the strings being in contact with this bridge, in combination with a big box so that the sound can resonate on the soundboard and bounce around inside the resonance chamber and then come out and sound very rich and full. So there you have the electric guitar and the acoustic guitar. Both have their pros and cons, but they're both wonderful pieces of machinery and if you take the time to learn how to play the guitar at all, you'll get many, many years of happy enjoyment playing on either one.